Well, hello YouTube, back in the shop again. All right, so we got three days in a row. Three days in a row we got uh, into the shop. So um, as you guys remember, and for those that are just joining us for the first time, go back and watch the other videos. We are trying to get, this is the uh, counterbalance goes here. Trying to get this uh, riveted up. Let me get down here. Riveted up. And as you know, I got big hands. You might not have known that. Assuming you did. You watch the other video. And so I've got to figure out a way of getting these rivets, getting my hands inside the part here. And uh, let me do this. I'm going to stop and I'll just show you. All right, here we go. So I've got to put a rivet here and a rivet here and then a rivet here and a rivet here. And as you can see, this here probably won't be an issue. I don't know yet Do I get into it. The problem is Vans has you leave the skin undone here. You can't go any further because I was thinking maybe I'd go, you know, leave it here. But you have this rivet line here. So the most you can bend this skin back is about that much. So I've got to get away of getting this, the bucking bar, inside here and held up as I get these two rivets done and then hold it against the, this side here as I get these two rivets done. I'm, this one here probably is not gonna be that difficult because I can come in from this angle here from inside, from inside here. But as I was joking around yesterday, I got big hands. <laughs> So I can probably do big this size here, this side here, kind of holding it like that as I buck it, and then flip the piece over and, and do the same on the other side. But man, what, what a pain. But hey, we got to do what we got to do. So let me uh, put the phone down. I got to switch out my, um, my die on my pneumatic, and uh, let's get the riveting. Let's see if we can get this thing done instead of talking about it. All right, YouTube, I want to share something with you. You know, part of building, let me give you a little bit of light here. Bam. Part of building an airplane is figuring things out. I mean, that's just life in general. Part of life is figuring things out. Um, let me just check that rivet over here. I just wanted to make sure that rivet didn't look like, but it is. Yeah, I checked it. All right, so... It's just figuring stuff out. <laughs> and oh my gosh. You know, this thing, we fly airplanes, you know, we get lift that counteracts, you know, gravity. Well, it doesn't counteract gravity. You're always going to have gravity because gravity is based upon mass, right? So you have as much lift as you want. Gravity doesn't change unless you go get away from the orbiting body. But let's not get into astrophysics or whatever that may be. Um, so here I am trying to figure out how I'm going to hold the button. Of course, it's the last one. I figured it out. Let me share something with you. I was trying to figure out how I'm going to hold the bucking bar up and so I can rivet these things. Well, guess what? How about we just use gravity to our advantage? Put, put the part down and the piece that you're going to rivet and then let the bucking bar sit on the gravity. So you're not trying to hold it up and put your hand at certain angles and all of that stuff and doing all of the craziness and holding your mouth just right and doing all that, do it, you know, think smarter. So hopefully I can help you guys out. When you're bucking and when you get to this point, instead of trying to hold your bucking bar up, let gravity do its thing. Put your bucking bar flat to the part uh, here and then buck it, you know, and then you can kind of hold, you can kind of hold it here so it's a good pivot because you want, you want, the whole idea with bucking is you guys know it's mass. It's the mass of this piece moving back and forth that actually smushes the rivet down. So what you want to do is you just want to give it a pivot point so that that, but that head or that tail or whatever you want to call it can can rotate that can swing back and forth, boom, 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 like this with the vibration. That's what drives the rivet is the is the mass of the tungsten or the steel bar, whatever you're using, slamming up against it because of the vibration. So all you have to do is put it in there like that, hold it, kind of let it pivot, use your gun, push on, push opposite in, and this thing will just be like a, it will do that, you know, with the thing. So there you go. That's how it works. But the thing is, 
is use gravity to your advantage. Instead of trying to hold it up, put it flat and then, and then rivet it in. Hopefully this will help the next person that comes behind and uh, watches the video to see how I did it. And uh, guess what? It, it, it does work. I know it does because uh, I did it with this one up here. So, but um, yeah, I mean, I figured it out in the last one. I was doing this one and I was like, well, wait a minute, let me just turn the part over and uh, and do it that way. And sure enough, with the you know, I had to get it with inspect. So the last little hit, one or two hits that I needed to do to it, I did it with it, the part flipped around with the bucking bar on the ground, you know, with this down. So there you go. Hopefully that will save you guys some some issues. So got to get to work, got to get these bucked. All right, I don't know how much of the video I got. I <laughs> just stunned on me talking. Blah, blah, blah. All right. I got this done. The only thing I would probably recommend, not probably, but what I would recommend is do this rivet first, then this rivet. Don't do this rivet because you won't be able to get your tungsten bar. If you do this rivet, it will kind of pivot on this rivet here, which you don't want it to do. So I would definitely do this rivet right here first, the back rivet, and then do this last. So that way you can do that because if it's on here, this, this will pivot and won't let you get a good hit there. The other thing that I definitely, you've got to have in your toolbox is an offset um, set or, or pneumatic. What this allows you to do, because what you want to do is when you're riveting, it's very important that you keep the gun in line with your rivet. But if you have ledges and parts and things like that, the offset will allow you to get up underneath that, but still keeping the gun in alignment with, with what you're riveting. That's the secret. If you do it, if you rivet off to the side like this, if you're not straight on it, what you'll do is you'll actually dig into your metal over over here and um, cause cause issues. You're gonna have to cut that out because we don't want any um, structural. If once you break or you put a sharp anything sharp in the middle, that's why we deburr. Uh, anything sharp will can lead to cracking, and then cracking leads to fatigue. Fatigue can lead to failure. So you'll hear me say that quite a bit. But uh, that completes. Hey, this guy's done. I gotta go read the instructions. Something tells me. I'm hoping I get the button this thing up, and then uh, we'll get working on the elevator trim. And then once we get done with that, then we'll take this guy apart and uh, get that one. You know, take everything I learned from this, mark this one up, because um, there were some some things, some order of operations that I think I'll change around to make life a little bit easier for me. And then of course. As you guys know, as we talked about before, I'm not going to, uh, I'm gonna do all of the leading edges with the Pro Seal all at once. So I can save up on the Pro Seal. I got another can or another um, tube of Pro Seal. One tube of Pro Seal will easily do the rest of the parts that I need to do. If I use that Pro Seal now, you're gonna waste it. I'm gonna waste it. I use usually probably only use a quarter of it if that, or maybe a, a one eighth of it, <laughs> just on if I just did it for this piece here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready to go and then I'll do all, all both of them at the, and pro seal those at the same time. So, all right, enough of that, gotta get back to work. This thing's not, you know, this plane's not gonna build itself. <laughs>